molarity. Okay, standard. Now, what about this whole business of S M at zero? Okay, what about that whole business? Well, that's what we call a third law entropy. And as it turns out, the third law of thermodynamics is really simple. The third law of thermodynamics says S equals zero at T equals zero, right? It's as simple as that, okay? Um, and this comes from the idea of the statistical definition of entropy, S equals KB natural log of W. And if we go into hideous detail with our, with our molecular partition functions, we would find that W equals one when T equals zero. So there's only one state of the system at zero Kelvin. And then of course, when the natural log, natural log of one is zero, so this just gives us entropy equal to zero, okay? Well, as it turns out, it's pretty difficult to, to actually measure this. It's extremely difficult to measure this. We have to get down to zero Kelvin, right? That's really hard, okay? And so, for example, suppose you couldn't get down to zero Kelvin. Suppose your measurement started at 78 Kelvin, which is liquid nitrogen temperature, okay? Your molar entropy, so this quantity, S, M standard, and I'm not talking about delta. Let me back up here, and I'm going to write, you know, when this is 298, I put delta um, molar, but I can also put that little standard notation symbol there, right? If you just want to know what is the molar entropy, the standard molar entropy, you have to be able to measure the molar entropy at zero Kelvin, it's really difficult to do that, okay? And you're gonna explore that more in the computer lab activity, all right? Um, but what I do wanna point out, like let's look at, I wanna pick out just one of these values or just, you know, there's a whole mess of these values. Um, and of course the one that I want is not on here. Um, let's, pick, let's pick on methane, okay? I wanted to talk about nitrogen, but let's pick on methane. So we know the molar entropy of methane, the standard molar entropy, 186.3 joule per Kelvin per mole, okay? Well, methane we know is a gas at 298K. So to calculate this value for methane, we would have had to do this entire equation, right? That's, that's kind of what I'm trying to show you is we know that methane is a gas at 298K, so to calculate that standard molar entropy of methane at 298K, we would have to go through this whole gamut. But when we look at like these liquids, for example, you know, benzene, right, to calculate that value, we wouldn't have to go through that whole situation, right? Because benzene is a liquid at 298K, so we would not have included that gas contribution. Um, so that's really kind of what I wanted to just point out with these third law of thermodynamics. When we talk about calculate a third law entropy, okay, what it means is we've been able to get our data down. So in our thermogram, we got our thermogram all the way down to zero Kelvin or damn close to it to get a proper third law entropy. And the reason why the thermogram, because again, right, we don't have an entropy meter, but we do have a thermometer. And the thermometer allows us to calculate the heat capacity or to measure the heat capacity. And so by measuring the heat capacity, um, these two equations, right, by measuring the heat capacity, we get the entropy and the enthalpy. So really when you think about this, Literally, the only thing we measure in thermodynamics for these, for these thermodynamic potentials, specifically enthalpy and entropy, is the temperature. All we need is a thermometer, and we can get the heat capacity and the entropy, okay? And let's see here. Um, that is all I wanted to say on this little short and sweet lecture, okay? 
And I kind of left this this stuff hanging because we're gonna we're gonna explore more of these third law entropy calculations in the computer lab activities. Okay. I'll see you on the next video, folks.